Okay. Um, well, like I say, I have 10 o'clock. I'm not really expecting any um, of the public to join us. If they do, um, that'll be good. All right, um, Bev, if you're ready, we can go ahead and go on the record. Good morning. This is hearing um, a hearing in file number MX-2020-0357 in the matter of a request for a waiver from Commission Rule 20 CSR 4240-125.0. Point zero four zero paren one paren C. And this is a manufactured home installers license rule that the commission is proposing an amendment to. We've come here today for a rule comment hearing that was published in the Missouri Register. My name is Nancy DePel. I'm the regulatory law judge conducting this hearing. Because of COVID-19 pandemic, the commission has set this comment hearing virtually, and we are transmitting this hearing um, over our internet site, as well as conducting the hearing live via WebEx video and telephone conference. Um, I would like to ask everyone to please mute if you are not uh, speaking, and be sure and identify yourself um, when speaking, if if you're not otherwise identified so that the court reporter can take down your comments. Um, I have uh, some of the commissioners on the line with me and um, there there won't be cross examination in a rulemaking hearing, but the commissioners may have some questions if there are comments. Um, I will begin. I'll go ahead and let uh, the attorneys that are present make entries of appearance. And I believe the only attorney we have is Ms. Bretz for staff. Ms. Bretz, would you like to make an entry of appearance? Not sure if I can get you unmuted. I think you may have to unmute yourself. Okay, I think you can hear me now, right? Yes. Okay. Karen Bretz, B-R-E-T-Z, for staff of the Missouri Public Service Commission. My office address is 200 Madison Street, Jefferson, Jefferson City, Missouri, 65101. Thank you, Ms. Bretz. Um, again, I haven't seen anyone from the general public um, join our conference. I see only um, commissioners and staff from the commission. Uh, did staff want to make any additional comments? You filed written comments. Was there anything additional that you wish to comment on about the rule? I have a short prepared statement if I could could say that. Go ahead. Good morning. May it please the commission. My name is Karen Brett, representing staff of the Missouri Public Service Commission. Staff law requires manufactured home installers to be licensed by the commission. Part of maintaining this license is completing a commission approved training program. Commission rule 20 CSR 4240-125.0401C states that an installer must attend certification classes every three years or as otherwise required by the manager. The manager of the Manufactured Housing and Modular Units Program was concerned about holding this class during this COVID pandemic. He believed that installers and staff in a classroom would be at risk and could not meet social distancing requirements. On the other hand, if the class was temporarily canceled, some installers would fall out of compliance and lose their licenses. The Commission is aware that according to 20 CSR 4240-2.205, the Commission may grant a waiver from its rules upon a finding of good cause. 
staff initially requested a waiver from the certification class requirement, but the concern arose that a waiver may expose the commission to liability. Because all installers are required to take the class, this might be considered rulemaking. Therefore, staff requested a commission order directing that an emergency amendment and a proposed amendment be filed with the Secretary of State. The emergency and permanent amendments are the same, and they accomplish two things. The first is to extend the certification class requirement beyond three years if extenuating circumstances warrant. The extenuating circumstances right now are obvious. However, if, this, if the health situation continues after the temporary amendment expires on April 12, 2021, or if future events make it dangerous to hold in-person classes, the permanent amendment gave, gives the commission authority to extend the training requirements so installers can maintain their licensure. The second thing the proposed amendment does is authorize classes to be held online. This is common sense. We have all adapted to online meetings and hearings since last March. There is no reason that the training class cannot be held online. The Commission found that an immediate danger to the public health required emergency action and ordered that both amendments be filed with the Secretary of State. Today, the Commission receives comments from the public regarding the proposed permanent amendment. No other party than staff has filed comments regarding this rule and, is, and staff is unaware of any parties that may be adversely affected by it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Britz. Um, I appreciate the work that staff has done on this uh, rulemaking and, and getting the emergency rule in place and so forth. Um, are there any commissioner questions for Ms. Bretz? No questions from me, Judge. Okay, great. Um, well, I don't see, is there anyone else present that wishes to comment that I haven't asked? Okay, I'm not seeing any additional comments, so I believe that that concludes this rule hearing. Thank you all for your participation. We can go off the record. Thank you.